In this video, we will discuss license groups for CSI's cloud sign-in licenses. Let's go to the CSI Customer Center. Okay, this is the User Management Dashboard. This allows you to view and manage your users, their user roles, and cloud sign-in license groups. If we take a look at the Users tab, a Customer Account Administrator has permissions for the following. They could add a new user, so these users can be added individually to the account, Users can also be added in bulk by importing them using Excel spreadsheet. So if we click on add new user, of course you can put in the first and last name, email address, and the specific role, which we will discuss here in a minute. You also have the ability to edit and remove users here on the right hand side. If we click on the roles tab, a customer account administrator has permission to create a new custom role, as shown here in the pull down menu edit a custom role, as well as assign a default role for their customer account. So let's take a look at these roles. If we wanted to add a role, you can see here, these are the user role permissions. The following permissions are available to be assigned to a user role. By default, the administrator role has permission for all items listed below. These include sales, support, sign-in software access, I won't go into these in detail. If you wanted more information, you can click on the user management dashboard help. All right, now if we click on the license groups, let me give you a quick overview as what a license group is. So essentially CSI offers the option for users to create user-defined license groups for their cloud sign-in licenses. So a license group is defined by a set of cloud sign-in software licenses and a list of users who have access to those specific licenses. This can allow customers flexibility and control over their licenses by limiting license access by user. So you can create custom license groups. It's not required, but you have the option to do so. So let's take a look at this. As you can see, here are all the licenses that are included for a specific company. Licenses can be arranged in any order of a license group. This will be the order the user will obtain an available license. So let's go through an example. So if I click on add new license group, give it a name here, we'll call it test. We can add and remove specific licenses in this group. So if I just click on a few of these here, now all of these licenses have been included in this group. I have the ability to pick and choose the specific users who have access to these licenses. So as it says here, you can drag and drop these rows to change the order of licenses within this group. So for example, if any of these three users wanted to access the software in this license group, this ETABS 21 Ultimate would be the first one they access. Okay, so what are some features and functionalities of license groups? Licenses can be added to more than one license group. A user can be a member of more than one license group. All users are automatically added to the default license group. So any license group in the customer account can be selected by the default license group, which is shown up right here. Another note, users must have the software access permission checked on their role in order to use their credentials for cloud sign-in licensing. So users who do not have this permission will not be able to access the license even if they are in the license group. Users have the ability to create as many license groups as they wish. And you can drag and drop the rows to change the sort order of the license group, just as you could for the licenses below. For further information, please view the user management dashboard help or license group manager help 